Shalom. We the real Hebrew Israelites coming to you week in, week out, prophesying this truth and the return of the Heavenly Father, which is prophecy found in the Holy Scriptures. First and foremost, want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Baha Sham, Yahweh Shah, Baha Racha Khorash, which is the Heavenly Father name and the Son name to translate. Who the real ignorantly and willingly called Jesus and Jehovah, which are not the names but are idols and ignorant, ignorant translations. And Baha Racha Kodash is in the Holy Spirit. The way we're able to understand these mysteries, these parables, these prophecies of the scriptures, and go out and declare with the proper understanding week in and week out and do these videos. And double honor to our elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, which the most I set up to push his word out in true sincerity and charity. The holy prophets back in the reincarnation today, true apostles and teachers and men of the Lord, according to scriptures. Shalom to all you arguing that labor and believe and push this doctrine out, the true name, the true doctrine, wherever you may be. In the midst of this perverse, crooked, wicked generation that sell out for fame, fortune, and that's breaking the scriptures down wrong and leaning on their own understanding and giving a false doctrine, man, which leads to death. Well, well, I just want to go into this lesson real quick, man, about, you know, some, you know, Lord, will it be edifying or exhorting, you know? Don't stumble over things behind you. Don't stumble over the things behind you, man. Meaning the, the, the lifestyle, the, the old man you once was. You know, I'm going to get that scripture too. Don't stumble over it, you know, because here it is. We call into the grace and the mercy of the Lord to be uh, new creatures. You know, so we have to follow the blueprint and labor. Strive and believe to be them new men. Putting off the old man. Uh, uh, look for this scripture real quick. Well, I can't find this a lot. Say, lie not one to another, seeing that they have put off the old man with his deeds. You know, and that's the point, man, because we put off the old man. That's behind us, okay? So I stumble over it. You know, the things you overcame coming into this truth, don't stumble over it. Don't stumble over things behind you. You know, which is the point of this lesson. You got to keep pushing forward. Got to keep fighting. You know, we got the name. We got the truth. We know who lying, we know who telling the truth, man. The spirit ain't revealed it to you yet. You know, just continue to pray. You know, but praying to idols, trusting in men, being in other false religions, man. Trusting in uncertain riches, trusting in the economy, or trusting in America system, which is a pit system of destruction and wickedness. We got to continue to fight believe and push forward man we can't stumble over things behind us because all these things all this wickedness this world america is all behind us man yeah we live in america we got to get our money and do what we got to do however as long as it's legal and righteous it's, it's all behind us man what we're looking forward to is the kingdom what we're looking forward to is being changed out of these vile bodies man this flesh we're looking forward to the laws being written in us so we never go off, man. We're looking forward to the prizes, the promises, and the mercies being being put back in our land. You know, dwelling with peace, peace and righteousness for everlasting, man. Having our Lord and Savior reign forever. That's what we're looking forward to, man. Everything else is behind us, man. Your sins, your, your mess-ups, you falling short, that's all behind us. And I just want to pull out Philippians, the third child. I'm going to start at 1. Uh, Lord will it be edifying this is Finally my brethren rejoice in Yahweh To write the same things to you To me indeed is not grievous But for you it is safe Beware of dogs, beware of evil workers Beware of conscientious Talking about those guys man you know, Claiming to do the work Those Jews of the circumcision Back then even until today Because the scriptures it, Although it was written back then And the accounts literally, literally happened It's likened unto today man Because we suffered it like we suffer the same things, man. We suffer like accounts, man. Okay, and you have the same man back today because scriptures say uh, it's written in Daniel standing like Lot. Okay, 
But everybody's going to stand their lie at the end of days because there's a thing called reincarnation. Okay? And you're always going to fulfill your lie, whatever you is and however you were. But nevertheless, man, it's talking about the, them, them, them wicked uh, Jews, man, boasting in the law. Those are the circumcision, you know, but they was the evil workers, man. They was dumb dogs, man. They, they, as the scriptures say, they back today. And it, it claiming to be in the Hebrew Israelite movement. Claiming to know some breakdowns and it's false. Claiming to be on some type of level, man. When they still unlearning babes, man. And you know they unlearning the babes because they breaking the scriptures down wrong. They laying into their own understanding. They want the fame and the uh, men. They want the fortune of this world. They want the uh, uh, positions and slots of this world like T.D. Jakes and Creflo Dollar. But they want to say the Israelites with it, man. Mixing bitter with sweet. False doctrine, man. With the name of the Lord, man. Blasphemy in the name of the Lord. Blasphemy his, uh, his holy scriptures. His true doctrine. And the man that he set up. That these people learned from. Or was once a part of, man. There was a lot of madness in camps that came out of one West, man. But the truth came out of one West as well, man. And that's the point. And our elders and apostles stuck to that. Just want to make that point. Verse 3 say, For we are the circumcision which worship God in spirit and rejoice in Yahweh Shai Hamashiach and have no confidence in the flesh. And that, that's them, them the truth uh, of the circumcision, man. The circumcision of the heart. Okay. Putting off that old man. You know, wicked deeds, repent, you know, come into the knowledge. What What's the true worship as we'll do in spirit? You know, he lets you know the difference between the evil workers and the true circumcisions. It say, though I might also have confidence in the flesh, if any other man think it that he have, wherefore he might trust in the flesh, I the more. So now Paul basically saying, hey, look at his track record, man. You want to boast and have confidence in the flesh? And he's going to make a point, though, man. Circumcised the eighth day of the stock of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, the Hebrew of Hebrews, as touching the law of Pharisee, concerning zeal, persecuting the church, touching the righteousness, which is in the law, blameless. Paul was a heavy guy, man, back then, even unto this day. Okay, and we were still reading and learning from Paul's writings, man, because Paul was a uh, so-called... Uh, uh, Paul was us, man. Okay? His bloodline go back to the same great man that we descend from. Us Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay? Paul was no other nation. This, these law, statute, commandments, the service of God was not given to these other nations. It's, it, and it wasn't given to the so-called white man. It wasn't given to the Chinese, the Africans. Okay? It was given to us Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans and in confusion of the face. Okay, and the leg gonna wake up and come back in two thirds. They're not, man. It's just predestined to set up like that, which we hope and labor to be a part of the elect. But this is the point. It's a concerning zeal, persecuting the church, touching the righteousness which is in the law, blameless. But what things were gained to me, talking about the knowledge of Yahweh Shai, the true knowledge, okay? Say, those I counted lost for Hamashiach. And that's the Hebrew word to translate for the anointed one. Ha the Hamashiach anointed one. Okay? And that's the point, man. All them things Paul put behind him, man. Okay? When the Lord came to him and literally knocked him off his high horse. Okay? Okay? And Paul received it, man. He, he received the name. He received the truth of the Lord, man. And he started doing the work the right way, man. Not leaning into his own understanding. That's why he let you know. But the things... But what things were gained to me, those I counted lost for you. I was shy. I said, yeah, doubtless. And I count all things but lost for the excellency of the knowledge of Hamashiach. I was shy. Because that's the true name for our Lord and Savior, man. They say, my Lord. Because hey, that, that Jesus Christ, man, that's the idol, man. That was created by our enemies, man. Okay. That was created by our enemies, man. You look it up. They say, for whom I suffered the loss of all things and do count them but dung that I may win Yahweh Shai. So he counted all them things nothing, man. He counted all them things nothing, man. So that he can win Yahweh Shai. And everything that come with it. And if you look at that, man, everything from that point on was behind him. So why stumble over it? 
you know? Why beat yourself up over it? You know, you got to keep fighting, keep pushing forward. But you got to think about it and, and just imagine the kind of demons that was messed with Paul, man. Having uh, a certain man, another Lord, put to death, consent that Stephen's death. You know, but coming into the truth of the Lord, man, if he purge you, if he choose you, if he calls this light, this truth, his wisdom to shine upon you, and you're laboring and fighting, man, hey, that says a lot. But you have to be humble and meek and continue to endure. And again, not stumbling over those things behind us, man. Not even this world, because that's behind us, okay? The careers we once had that was either taken away, not stumbling over that. You know, things that were taken away from us, man. Because being in this flesh and, and your sins weighing down on you, it, it, you can you can stumble, man. But that's the whole point of this lesson. We can't stumble over that. You know, we got to know that we got the knowledge of our Lord and Savior. We got the name. We got the way to serve him. We got the prophecies and the mysteries, man, that's being made understandable through the elders and apostles. It's being made clear through the Holy Spirit, through these holy men, giving us the comfort, as Romans 15 and 4 say Okay, because these things are written for our comfort and for our hope, man. So we can hope to be a part of these uh, elect men that the scriptures talk about. So we can hope to be changed, man. You know, on the first go around, not have to suffer death by pain, not being casted away, not the Lord taking his Holy Spirit from us. Because look at our people, man. It's not funny. It's sad and it's scary, man. They under the strong delusions, man, because the Lord ain't chose them. They in churches, they in uh, the mosques. And these false religions, they worship idols, false names. They bugged out. They just rebellious rebels, man. Sons of Baal. Okay. Hey, and the list goes on, man. But those that's calling the Lord in truth and say and change the true name, serving him the right way, that is a blessing, man. A true. It's a lie. A true blessing. He's saying, being found in him, not having my own righteousness. And that's the point. He say, being found in him, not having his own righteousness, because <laughs> he's not leaning on understanding, man. He casting all them things behind him that he may win you have a shot. He boasting that you have a shot, man. They say, which is of the law, but that which is through the faith of you have a shot, the righteousness which is of God by faith. That I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings being made conformable unto his death, man. Being in that word conformable, man, like we <laughs> we partaking in his death, man. We took of that cup. We drank of that cup, ate of that bread, man. And we doing it now. When we pick up these words and these scriptures, when we breaking bread, okay, we call on his name. The scripture saying, Philip is not given to you to believe, but to suffer. I'm going to get that. Matter of fact, uh, Philippians, uh, I think it's in the first chapter somewhere. So, all right. Let's say Philippians 1 and 29, for unto you it is given in the behalf of Yahweh Shah, not only to believe on him, but also to suffer for his sakes. So we got to also suffer, man. You know, and these churches, they not give you the proper understanding. And I give you the true doctrine, man. You know, but reading on, <clears throat> it says, um, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings being made conformable unto his death. You know, because the way we 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 taking partaking in that, man. And the power of his resurrection, man, we doing the work of the Lord, man. So we could we'll be in that resurrection, our bodies being changed, man. They say, if by any means I might attain unto the resurrection of the dead. And that, that's the point, man. And a quick precept, which I can't pull it up on the internet right now for y'all to see. But if you can turn to 2nd Ezra, which is in the Apocrypha. Rather, you brought the uh, literally, literal Apocrypha in a red book. Or you have it in the 1611, which is part of the Old Testament. 2nd Ezra, chapter 2. Verse 20, say, do right to the widow, judge for the fatherless, give to the poor, defend the orphans, clothe the naked, which is what our apostle and elders doing on, on down, doing now, man. Okay. They say, heal the broken heart and the weak, laugh not at the lame man to scorn, defend the main, and let the blind man come into the sight of my clearness, keep the old, 
and the young within thy walls. Whatsoever thou findest dead, take them and bury them, and I will give thee the first place in my resurrection. <laughs> okay. And in Proverbs 29, it says, he that, remain, he that wandereth out of way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. Okay, so if we see our people out here dead, if we see our people out here brokenhearted, we see our people out here weak and lame and maimed and blind, which means they can't see the truth. <laughs> okay, hey, we do what the Lord say do so we can what? Let's say, so we can attain that first place in his resurrection, man. So we can be a part of that number. Okay, and that all goes into doing the work, you know. It all goes into doing the work. <laughs> so like it. it says, um, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection. It was read to in Second Ezra and the fellowship of his sufferings. Okay, we believe in the true name. We suffer because Second Ezra seven and eighteen tells you. It says, I'm gonna get that too. You know, you can also turn now. Second Ezra 7 and 18 say, Nevertheless, the righteous shall suffer straight things and hope for the wide. So they're talking about the elect. They're going to suffer these straight things and they're going to hope for the wide and they're going to get it through their sufferings, man. It say, For they that have done wickedly have suffered the straight things and yet shall not see the wide. And that's talking about the kingdom when you read that whole chapter, man. Okay. And that's our hope. That's what we fighting for. That's why we're not stumbling on the things behind us. They say, not as though I had already attained it. Hey, so being humble and meek, we ain't attained it yet. We ain't saved yet. We not lying to you like these churches. Oh, I'm saved. By what? You still in the flesh. You still oppressed. And <laughs> Jacob's trouble, you ain't endured through that. The hour of temptation, you ain't endured through that. So how you saved? Then say they covered in the blood of Jesus, which is an idol, man. <laughs> That's madness. Say, not as though I had already attained the either were. Either were already perfect, but I follow after it that I may apprehend that for which also I am apprehended of Hamashiach Yahushai. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do. And this is the whole point of the lesson. Forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. So we got to forget all the things that's behind us, all the wicked things we once did and said and thought, man. And we got to reach forth unto those things which are before the kingdom, the why being changed. OK, because if you stumble on the things behind you, man. OK, you could fall out the truth, man, because even in the truth, it's a battle. It gets more t tough, man, because, you know, more you see things clearly. You're tested way more. OK, you understand why and you're going to be put to the test more, man, because the Lord is trying you. The Lord's trying to see if you fit to be a God, a judge, a ruler, which you hope to be. And if not, man, hey, everything you thought you was going to get, man, you're not going to get it if you don't pass the uh, the test, man. If you don't go through these straight things, what you tell you in second or seven. This is Israel portion. But our people, they ex try to escape these things and they can't escape the curses or what the Lord judgment is. They try to escape it by selling out, by doing wickedness. To the ultimate level, man, to get the rewards and the perks to come with it. And ultimately, it's gonna be their destruction. They try to escape it by not coming into the truth or falling out, thinking they bet off outside the truth, man. You know, which is all people did back then, man. Pouring a hey, sacrifice into these devils and pouring out drink offerings, saying since they uh since they doing them things, they thought it was better to do it. Roughly paraphrasing, but it's in Jeremiah. It's written in a certain place. Say, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God and Hamashiach Yahushua. Let us therefore as many be perfect, be thus minded. So let that man, let have that mindset, man. Press toward the mark. But getting those things which are behind. Being humble is not as though you will already attained it, but try to attain it. Because we got to continue to fight and press toward the mark. It say, and if anything... Ye be otherwise minded, God shall reveal even this unto you. Nevertheless, where until we have already attained, let us walk by the same rule, let us mind the same thing. Be brethren, be followers together of me, and mark them which so walk so as ye have us for an example. We have the elders and apostles and the great man before us, and as an example. Going back to second measures, man, that narrow path, man. But only one can enter in at a time, and that's uh fire on the uh 
fire on the uh, left, wood on the right, roughly paraphrasing. Okay, a dangerous, dangerous things, man. Outside this truth that can get you caught up. I just want to pull this other scripture out real quick. This um, this Isaiah 38, 14. You know, these are writings of uh, King Hezekiah, man. When you read up, it tells you... Uh, um, right here, it says, uh, the rise of Hezekiah, king of Judah, when he had been sick and w was recovered of his sickness, man. And we all sick, man. The Lord recovered us by shining his light upon us, giving us the truth, bringing us to this good grace and mercy, letting us labor to be a part of the elect, man, giving us this mercy. Okay. It's a, and that's what it's about, man. The Lord's mercy, which we hope for. Say, like a crane or a uh, swallow, so did I chatter. I did mourn as a dove. My eyes fell with looking upward. Oh, Yahweh, I am oppressed. Undertake for me. What shall I say? He have both spoken unto me and himself have done it. I shall go softly all my years in the bitterness of my soul. O oh, Lord, by these things men live, and in all these things is the life of my spirit. So wilt thou recover me and make me live. Behold, for peace I had great bitterness. But thou hast in love to my soul delivered it from the pit of corruption. The Lord delivered us from the pit of corruption. This mad state of America, being attached to this place which going to be destroyed, being attached to this financial system, man. You know, when I say being detached from the financial system, man, we don't go out our wits. We don't go out our way to try to get the dollar, man. We do what we got, you know, being content with what we got. And let that be enough, man, knowing the Lord going to provide the rest. Okay, because hey, the scriptures say for the love of money is the root of all evil. A lot of people love money. They so caught up in how they going to make it and be successful here that they base their life around these things. They even take it to the extreme measures of selling out or being wicked to get the rewards. They say for thou hast cast all my sins behind thy back. And that's the point, man. We hope that the Lord cast all our sins behind us, man. You know, if we be them man. The second there's a 16. And I'm gonna start up though in Apocrypha. The second Ezra 16. Uh and I'm gonna start at uh, 73. It says, Then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as gold is tried in a fire. Here, O ye, my beloved, say if you how will behold the days of trouble are at hand. But I will deliver you from the same. Say, be not afraid, neither doubt, for God is your guide. 76. And the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, say if you howl. Okay. Those and going back into Philippians, the third chapter. You read up. It say, for we are the circumcision, which worship God in spirit and rejoice in Hamashiach and have no confidence in the flesh. Those are same men that's going to be... The, Tried them the same man that's going to be saved from the uh, day of trouble, the hour of temptation, Jacob's trouble, the day like no other, like Daniel 12 say. And it say verse 86, and the God of them who keep my commandments and precepts, who worship him in spirit, say if Yahweh the power, let not your sins weigh you down and let not your iniquities lift themselves up. And that's the point. Don't let your sins weigh you down, man. Don't afflict yourself too much. Yeah, you're going to get on yourself and brother's going to get on you, man. But you got to have that balance, man, because the Lord is about balance. And you got to know what the Lord promised us. Love, mercy, he's long-suffering. But you got to have the knowledge too, man. Don't take that for granted, you know. And it said, let not your iniquities lift themselves up. A just man follows seven times, man. Even coming to the truth, you mess up. But you understand and know, like, I can't keep doing this. I got to examine myself. I got to uh, grow. I got to be better than the man I was a year ago, two years ago, man. You know, and I speak to myself first and foremost because this is a growing process, man. You got to examine yourself. They say, woe be unto them that are bound with their sins and covered with their iniquities like as a field is covered over with bushes and the path thereof covered with thorns that no man may travel through. It is left undressed. It is cast into the fire to be consumed therewith. And that's the point, man. Two thirds of our people are bound with their sins. They say, whoa, destruction be unto them that are bound with their sins, man. Why? Because they didn't receive the love of the truth. They didn't receive the purging. They didn't receive the sufferings, which is for our good to make us better. They didn't receive uh, the mercy of the Lord, man. 
They didn't care. They didn't consider, as the scriptures say. They didn't hope, okay? They them same people that suffer the straight things, but ain't going to see the why, man. Because why? They are they father the devil. And who's the devil here on earth? The so-called white man, Esau, eat him. Everything he pushes to deceive you. Everything he pushes you is to bring you down with him, man. To keep you distracted from the Lord, okay? And we do these videos. We go out in highways and bad ways to declare and tell our people with the proper understanding through that Baha Rakhah Kodash, the Holy Spirit, and warn them, hey, they, these things are coming. Trouble is coming. Repent, get right. The kingdom is coming. We got life after this. We're going to live forever, man. But forget those things which are behind you, even this present evil world. And all the lies that was been told unto us, man. The Lord allowed these things to happen so at the end he can get the best. Say the best for last, man. And it's the truth coming out at the end of the days, man. Hey, but don't don't stumble on things behind you. Lord, I want to hope this last one. I want to give all praises, glory, honor to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom, how you arguing that following labor likewise. Shalom.